So uh, moving past Christmas is uh, New Year's. It's about to be a brand new year. Yes. And, and so where we're at now, which is like a week before New Year's ish, mm-hmm. we are at that point in our lives where no matter where you go, you go to a website, you go to a news site, you go to CNN.com, you pick up a newspaper, you pick up a magazine, you turn on a uh, TV to watch something. No matter where you go, someone has a top 10 list now. Yes. We're in that annoying part of like, oh, I'm going to go to this website. Here's my top 20 favorite video games of 2017. Okay, then I'm going to go to CNN. Here's our list of the top 10 films of 2017. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to read the, the Jewish review of books. Here's the top 10 most Jewish books. Yes. Or whatever. Or whatever that would be. Uh, <laughs> Natasha just gave me a puzzle. There you go. I got it out. I got it out. You're welcome. So, since we're at that point where everyone is writing top 10 lists, best albums, best movies, yada, yada, yada. Here's my list. Okay. I decided to go ahead and make a list. Bella helped me write this. She she was instrumental in helping me write this. My top 10 favorite episodes of the Pope on Film podcast this past year. Okay. So, this is my list. My list of the top 10 best episodes of the Pope on Film in 2017. 10 great, wonderful episodes. Okay? (laughs) Yes. Okay. Okay. Number 10 was that one episode where we we covered like a bad movie. Yeah. And then we made fun of it. Like, you remember that episode? I do. That was that was a good episode. I, I totally remember that episode, and it was really good. Yeah, and that was movie really was just so awful. Oh yeah, it was a bad movie, and we just made fun of it. Yeah, you know, because we take we take risks like that. <laughs> yes, we do. So that's number ten. Uh, number nine, what? my number nine favorite episode of the Pope on Film podcast in 2017 was that one episode where you said that one funny thing. You remember? Oh God, yeah. People you said still that one talk funny about thing. that. Yeah, and then like I was laughing, and now people still come up to me, and they're like, "Hey, Steve, you remember that one episode where Bunny said that one funny thing?" And I'm like, "Ah," <laughs> and then they go, "Ah," and then the police come because we're just two grown adults going, "Ah." <laughs> that, was, that was a good episode. That that's number nine. Yes. Uh, num- number eight. This episode really stood out. It was the one episode where Natasha just talked for 20 minutes about Supernatural. Oh, that that was good. Yeah, that was surprising because Natasha usually doesn't like to talk about Supernatural. Yeah. But this one episode, she just she just talked about it. And that's good because we we hardly talked at all about Misha Collins in 2017. So no. he, he so was quite it, neglected. Yeah, he was quite neglected. Yeah, so I'm happy that finally, you know, we made America, you know, love again, basically, uh-huh. is what we did with that. So uh, thank you to Natasha. That's m- number eight. Who knew? Number- who who knew that buying the world a Coke would actually work? Yeah, yeah. Nobody oh. had any idea. That. Yeah. My number seven favorite episode of the Pope on Film podcast in 2017 was the one where Eleanor wouldn't stop screaming. And that's so funny because usually when we do the podcast, she's just sitting quietly in a chair typing her manuscript. Yes. Very, very hard at work and dedicated. Yeah. There was the one episode where Eleanor was like, wait a second, maybe I should scream during this episode. I don't know if I should. I've never done it before. Well, I'll give it a shot. And then she just started screaming like crazy. Yeah. Which is weird. Which is weird because usually when the baby makes a single peep, suddenly my two teens are out of their room, bounding out of their room like superheroes, ready to quiet the baby down. That happens all the time. Yeah. I'm sure. But I guess I guess for just this one episode they dropped the ball. <laughs> 
my number six favorite episode of the Pope on Film no. in 2017 was the one where Max had a bunch of special guests. Yes. Max, my six-year-old, most of the time he's just uh, sitting in the corner watching me do the podcast in awe, but this time he just said, you know what? I'm going to line up about six special guests, which is weird because that just never happens. No, not at all. And, and good guests, too. There was like uh, Iron Man and 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 Venom and Joe Don Baker, some unnamed superhero that somebody got from the dollar store. Yeah, leaving Captain Cle- Captain Mediocre, I think he is. Um, did she just sneeze on your face? All over me. That sounded like a very good sneeze, too. Like she <laughs> was going strength and distance. Like all she's all over me. Well, all hands on deck if she's going to make it to regionals, honey. Oh, my face didn't need to be involved. <laughs> she sneezed in my mouth the other day. I want to put that on a shirt. And have you just wear that around? Because that should be your catchphrase. <laughs> My face shouldn't be involved. <laughs> it could be dirty. It could be cleaned. Like, it could go so many ways. That's a great phrase. Put that on a bumper sticker. Slap it on the van. My face shouldn't be involved. <laughs> My face didn't need to be involved. Yeah. Yeah. That's your new catchphrase. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving everybody new catchphrases. Maxwell's new catchphrase is slap that, Grandma. <laughs> it's slap that, comma, Grandma, not slap that, Grandma. Yeah. Ain't it talk to over there and slap that, Grandma. <laughs> no, you, you got to say it right. You should tell Maxwell to slap his grandma. Oh. I meant your mom. Oh, my oh! mom. Okay, because okay. your mom's Because my mom's dead. Your mom's dead. Yeah. Um... Doesn't doesn't mean you can't slap her. <laughs> That's a we good do point. have her ashes. We can slap an urn. It just takes yeah, a have... bit more work and a bit more dedication. Yeah. Well, we have ashes. And imagination. Yeah. We yeah. could we could make an urn in her. Do we have a mold of her head? Do we yeah. have a mold of her head? I'll I'll check my lab. <laughs> can we take a picture into a place and have them do? A mold type thing of her head, and just like have Nana's head with her filled with her ashes. I bet with three D printers you can get it done. Oh my god, <gasps> you're right. Yeah. I wonder if I know something. <laughs> I mean, if they can, if they can, if they can three D print dildos, I'm pretty. Yeah, sure they if they can three D print, they can three D print my mom's face. Like a like a like a like somebody's a, a new arm for someone. Yeah. There's a group out there that 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 has 3D printers and uses them to print 100% accurate superhero arms for kids who have lost an arm or a limb. Really? And I'm just hoping. Yeah, I'm just hoping that they do adults. If I lose an arm, I want a Winter Soldier arm. <laughs> and it's got like the red star on the corner. I'm, if I lose an arm, heaven forbid I do. But if I do, I'm getting me a Winter Soldier arm. I've actually thought a lot about this, like a ridiculous amount about how cool I would look with my Winter Soldier. Arm. I would need a lot more um, wife beaters. <laughs> Sorry, wife, wife huggers. Wife huggers. Wife huggers. Wife huggers. What do I want from Sonic? A uh, burger? Big burger? Fries? Not tater tots. I don't like the tater tots. Fuck tater Fries. tots. And if possible, also oh, a hot dog. got some feelings about tater tots. Fuck tater tots and their stupid asses. Wow, bunny. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah, that's I I I don't even feel that. <laughs> right. I mean, like I think potatoes in almost any form are good. So. Oh, oh, uh, Eleanor. I like I like okay. potatoes. Okay, I'm holding Eleanor. Okay, so you want a burger? You don't want the bird, the, the Coney Island dog like you always get, or whatever. Can I get both? Can I punch in your face? Uh, I'm just kidding. I mean, I, if I'm bringing Emerald over to the, the, the dude's house, yeah. I don't have to feed Emerald, so okay, yes. I can get you both. Yes. Yes. So should I surprise you on the burger then? Yes. And get you a Coney Island dog? Yeah. 
I want a cheeseburger. So, uh, let's see. So my five, yes, we're on number five. Okay. My number five favorite episode of the Pope on Film this past year was that one episode where we did like a blockbuster funny, you remember? We did like a we did like a like a popular movie. Yeah, that really one popular movie, that one movie that everybody yeah. was talking about. Yeah. And then yeah. we had like a we And that like really movie. pulled in the listeners too. Yeah, we it, it was a really inter we had a different take on it because we watched this popular movie and then we said, Hey, this is pretty good. And that's what people want. Mm-hmm. To listen to is to hear that uh exciting different take on things yes. so that was an episode number four in my top 10 list of best episodes of the pop-up film this past year was that one episode where that one thing happened and then we, we were both like oh <gasps> you remember I, 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 i'm still shocked yeah 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 people people are still talking about that to this day that one episode where that one thing happened my number three favorite episode of the Pope on Film this past year, episode 150, Stephen King's It. Yes. It was a solid, well-rounded episode that I was very proud of. Number two, the number two favorite episode of the year was the one where uh, where Bella, that one episode where Bella killed all those puppies. That I, I I was I was shocked, and I think you were right to ground her. I I I couldn't yeah. listen to yeah. that. I couldn't listen. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. She she killed like twenty four puppies within the course of the podcast, and so I had to be like, "Hey, Missy, you're grounded for two days." <laughs> the the and, and I had to like get down on her for that. It was the squealing that was really really difficult. That was that was yeah. the really hard part. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, and then, of course, the number one best episode of this podcast throughout 2017 is this episode. We're only about 25 minutes into it, but already, this is the best episode of the year. You could just tell, you know, you just have that feeling, you know, they, that that kind of like electric, you know, feeling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, nah. that's how you can always tell. Yeah. So that's my top ten list, and it's going to be my only top ten list. <laughs> so I don't do like my favorite movies of the year or anything like that. My favorite albums, like no, no, I'm done. Eleanor, can you stop trying to push the podcast off of this table? I would appreciate that. I'm talking to Bunny. Say hi, Bunny. Say hi. Hi, you Eleanor. Can have you cannot have the Lysol wipes. Why do you want the Lysol disinfecting wipes so much? Hi, uh, yes, yes. Hey, Eleanor! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Eleanor, say hi! I'm sick today. Yes, Eleanor is sick today. Yes, Eleanor is sick today. She doesn't want to say hi. Uh, don't touch. Don't touch. I have a playlist for Eleanor on YouTube, and yeah. she likes watching it, and there's a lot of Sesame Street stuff. She really likes old Pink Panther cartoons, so yeah. we watch a lot of that. And uh, <laughs> new Mickey Mouse cartoons, Eleanor really likes that. And um, bits and pieces of various movies and some bizarre musical uh, music videos. But what? But I... Every once in a while, I'll sneak a Bob's Dirty Shorts in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So she'll be watching a Mickey Mouse cartoon, then a Bugs Bunny cartoon, then Elmo singing a song, and then, don't you judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. You've got no right judging me. That's right. So every time that comes on, <laughs> Eleanor knows. She just she hears the voice, and she goes, oh, Bunny, Bunny. <laughs> and then the video's over and I say 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 goodbye to Bunny and she goes bye bye. Oh. <laughs> it's really adorable. Yeah. Eleanor loves you. Oh, thank you Eleanor. <laughs>